Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Little Nightmares 2. That's right, I'm actually playing it a little bit earlier than the release date because Bandai Namco was kind enough to reach out and ask if I'd like early access to this game. So, a big shout out to Bandai Namco and PR manager Gemma, who is always super awesome and really communicative there. Now, in terms of what I can show you guys before release, I am allowed to show you until roughly halfway in the game. So, we will be playing up until the end of a hospital chapter before the release of the game, and then after that, guys, we're going to be playing the rest of the game and this is going to be a double upload series so every day there's going to be two little nightmares videos for you to sink into obviously take your time watch them when you can but there are going to be plenty of little nightmares videos coming over the next few weeks so yeah we're going to dive in obviously we've all been really excited for this game and it's finally time now to start mono and six's adventure and see where their journey into the pale city leads them so with that said let's dive in i've done enough lollygagging it's time to jump in and see what little nightmares 2 is all about. A long, warped, bendy hallway. And of course at the end, we see what seems to be a doorway. But what could be behind that doorway? I'm guessing that's the question that we're going to be asking pretty much throughout the game. It's got one of those creepy looking eyes from a moor on there. All the music's raising. And Mono awakes in the clearing of a forest next to the TV. Kind of cute little guy. So here we go guys, the start of our adventure into the world of Little Nightmares 2. I can't wait to see where this story leads. Let's get going. Got to remember the controls. That's the run button. Sounds like some flies are festering around here, and of course, we can see why. Because <laughs> there's a very squelchy, kind of squishy, rotten body there. So, kind of glad we didn't go down there. I'm just going to skirt around that. Let's prize this cage open. Of course, this is the lair of the hunter as we know only too well. Let's sneak under these trees. I'm really interested to know a little bit more about Mono and like who he exactly this character is and you know what his place in this world is and that is creepy. That's a little nightmare in that bag right there all bundled up. Many little nightmares, hundreds of little nightmares in there. <laughs> Poor people, I guess they didn't escape the hunter's clutches. They've been shotgunned down. Let's get out of here. Oh, edge our way carefully across this tree. And jump. Nice. A nice skillful jump there by Mono. Alright. Um, we don't want to trip that cage, so let's jump. There we go. And move this little box. Help us up the cliff. Look at the like, little box just hanging in the background as well. There's like traps all over these woods. We've got to be careful. I'm going to hunker down under this rotten tree. Oh, run, Mono, run! Like Indiana Jones. You go. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Okay. Got a rope. We need to go up. Grab that rope and swing across. And if you guys wonder why I'm so good at this, <laughs> and I know exactly what to do, because of course we're playing through the section we got given on the demo a few months ago. So I have seen the early part of this chapter before, but I don't remember it exactly beat for beat, so here we go, lower that, and keep going, deeper into the woods, closer and closer to that hunter's cabin. Okay, we've got to drop down here onto that box. So I think if we did the whole jump in one go, we'd probably break our necks. 
Mono is not a big guy, you know, he's a little fella. Climby, climby. Let's keep going. Some old shoes. Oh, and a crow. Kind of startled me a little bit there. And we've got a rope trap. That is going to be a sticky end if Mono steps in that, so we're going to need a shoe. That's it, Mono. Use that shoe. No one else is going to need it anymore. Oh, great. My shoe throwing skills are off today, guys. Need to practice at them. There we go. We got it in the second try. Let's head on up. Looks like we've got a uh, bear trap there. So we'll make sure we don't stand in that. It's kind of sick. We've got that like rotting flesh in the bear traps. It's got to smell pretty bad around here. Glad this doesn't have smell of vision this game. There we go. A nice stick. We can use that here. Ooh. You can almost feel that, can't you? That snap. Oh, he <laughs> kind of hurt himself then. Pretty grazed up his knees a little bit. Okay. Let's check, see if there's anything in these uh, leaves. Nothing there. Oh, but lots of stuff there. Lots of little traps. We've got some pine cones here. Let's use those. It's somehow really satisfying throwing pine cones into those traps. And just watching them spring open like that. <laughs> well, we got four in one there. That's pretty good. Pretty good going there, Mono. Let's try here. Yep, there we go. Now we've got the way to the log cleared. And let's try and jump across to here. Oh, very close. Very, very close. Making good progress. Let's head on up the hill. And here we go, guys. The hunter's house. Of course. Very ominous looking. Let's go inside. Oh, we got a, tr a trophy there. An achievement. Evasive prey. Our first achievement on Little Nightmares 2. Let's go inside here, then. This kitchen... Looks pretty gross. There's a kettle on, so somebody's in. Look at that. That is not a stew you'd want to sample, is it? We've got a sausage here. That's a, a little throwback to the original Little Nightmares, of course. And the tragic end of the gnome. I wonder when we're going to see some gnomes in this game. Surely there must be a few scampering about. Anyway, let's uh, explore down in the basement. I can hear some music. Oh, meat cleaver. And there's six. I assume that's six. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> She's in a room trapped playing her little song on that music box. We need to get her out of there. The meat cleaver could come in handy. Nope. The meat cleaver is not an option. But the axe could be an option. There we go. Right, let's take the axe and slice through that door. It's like The Shining or something. Jack Nicholson cutting through the door. Make way. Six is like, what the hell? What are, you, what are you doing, man? I come in peace. Don't worry. I'm not a danger. I think it's so cute how they talk to one another. Their little communications. Come on, Six. 
We don't want to hurt you. <laughs> She's like, out of my way, I don't trust you. That's fine, we have to earn Six's trust. Across the game, I'm sure they're going to become good friends. There she goes, she's running upstairs. So let's catch up to her. Oh, she goes around there. Oh, look at that. I can hear someone upstairs, I don't like that. We've got like a moose head there. Which is really spooky looking. And I think if I remember correctly down here, yes, look, we've got a hat. I'm not going to wear the hats on this playthrough. I'm going to kind of go through the game with Mono's regular look. But if I do like a second playthrough uh, where we try and get the achievements or something, I'll wear the different hats. For now, we won't. And that is creepy. That's some straight up serial killer vibes right there. We've got like this table full of stuffed corpses. I mean, come on now. Look at the woman's face. Look at the guy's eye. Look at that little kid's eye. Just like dragging out there. That's, that is the stuff of nightmares once again. This game is full of the stuff of nightmares. There you go, six. Looks like she needs a hand. It's okay. We come in peace. We're not going to hurt you, six. That's so cute. Okay. That's it. Boost me up. Boost me up. And there we go. That is teamwork. If we keep teaming up like this, we'll go far, Six. I don't like the sound of clanking about upstairs, though. Like, sounds like something's living up there. Like, what is that noise? Look at all these creepy ass masks in here as well, and like limbs. Like mannequin limbs. We need to push this chest. There we go. This way, six. Now, we've got a key up there. We need to get to the key. So, let's find a way to get to the key. Oh, can she boost us up here? I think she can. Yes, I remember this from the demo. This is, um, this kind of pro playing, if you can call it that, is, oh, that's really creepy. It is not going to last though, guys, because um, <laughs> obviously soon we'll be out of the demo area <laughs> and into the game that we haven't seen yet. Oh, no, that's so gross. Sorry, Granny. I didn't mean to tear your arm off, but doesn't look like you really mind, seeing as you're dead and stuffed by a mad serial killer. So let's just get out of there, because we don't want to look at that for any longer than we need to. Return to six. Oh, just fell flat on my face. It's alright, six picked up the mantle, and she's going to lift up this sack of... Well, it looks like a body, doesn't it? We've got a body over there, which I've just noticed. With his legs sticking out. Pretty disgusting. There we go, we've got the key. That's brilliant teamwork. A key item, quite literally there, guys. Alright, let's head on downstairs next. See if we can get out of the hunter's house. Back down the ladder. Quite glad to be out of that creepy attic. We didn't actually run into whatever was making that noise as well, which is really good. Okay, out we go. Here we go, we've got the garden. The toilet. So if we can go inside the toilet. Oh, yes we can. Six is like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you inside that toilet. Come on, Six, boost me up. I want to find the secrets of this game. Oh, look. There's like a ghost child in here. What the heck? 
We just consumed him. It's like a glitch or something. What the heck? And why has he got a photograph or a portrait of a moose in there? It seems like that was his like pet maybe, <laughs> and it ended up on his on his wall. That was really weird. Either way, we got a glitch, so we've unlocked a secret for the first time, which is pretty awesome. Need to push this box. Push this box all the way over to the open window. That's as far as it goes. I have to make a, a leap of faith six. Oh man, I can hear that hunter ripping up his corpses, ripping up his animal pelts. Come on, Six. Take my hand. We're going to sneak together, hand in hand. Shh. Yep. I like that. Six is just like, shh. Okay, we'll be quiet. Don't you worry. I'm not, I'm not looking to make noise here, Six. Man, look how creepy that guy is. Okay. All right. Let's push on this door. Let's get out of here. A little more, a little more. Oh no, that's so gross. Six, run. To every man for himself, or woman in your case. Just, I can't hold your hands right now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Man, he's after us fast. Okay, behind this one. Ooh, okay. And jump, 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 down here. Hide, hide, hide. We made it, we made it, we made it. Look how creepy he is, guys, with his torch and his shotgun. I love the design of the monsters in Little Nightmares. They're so cool. But they're also, like, massively creepy. Okay. I don't think he sees us. Just let him go. Let him be on his way. If it was me in real life, I would double back now, go back through the house and get out of there, but... I guess that's not an option. Right trigger to hold hands. Are you gonna six? Are you gonna like? Are you actually gonna like come with me? There you go. Okay, let's keep our head down. Move slowly. Okay, 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 okay. We've got to hold really still. Edge forward, edge forward. If he shines the light back this way, we have to be completely still. Because the grass is shielding us, but obviously he is going to notice movement if we start moving about. Don't worry, Six, I've got your hand. We're going to wait for one more time. He's going to pan his little flashlight this way one more time. And then once he's done that, we're going to make our way over to that hole over there. Okay? Okay, now we go. Now we go, now we go. We, we sneak. We sneak. We sneak. We sneak. We run. We made it, we made it, we made it. Yes, six. Nice teamwork. Oh. Okay, go, 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 go. He's trying to get in. Oh my god, okay, he's shooting, he's shooting, he's shooting. Move up the way, move up the way. Is he gone? Okay, six, this way. I think he's gone. That was close. Alright, I don't know what happens next, guys. I've never played this far now. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. The adventure begins. Six and Mono have teamed up. And we're making our way under the roots of an old tree. What lies on the other side? Nobody knows. Oh, there we go. We've we've escaped. Come on, Six. I'm going to hold your hand every step of the way and drag you through this adventure with us. Okay, we've got a bridge here. So how are we going to get across that? Because that does not have a bottom. That is a straight ravine. All right, I'm going to go for it, Six. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to I'm gonna jump this. If I die, you can have all of my possessions, including my paper bag hat. Yeah, I died. That was not smart. Oh, I can see what we have to do here. 
We pull that. There we go, and then six can actually jump across first, I'm guessing. Maybe catch us on the other side? Yeah, okay, good. Imagine if six just left us now. Oh, we call her over, that's so cute, okay. Come on, six. Right, here we go. And jump. Ooh, we made it, that's so cool. Okay, that was quite an epic moment. An epic gaming moment. Take my hand, Six. Maybe we don't need to always hold hands. I think it's going to be a bit finicky if we're always trying to hold hands. Oh, wait, what have we got up there in that cage? I'm going to climb up. I'm going to investigate, guys, because that looks like a, a hat. And I want to collect those hats, you know? Uh, okay. So what do I do? Just jump on it, maybe? So it snaps. Yes, look at that. We've got a new hat, guys. Is that a dead child in there? I think it is. Oh, it is. Look at its face. It's all rotten. That's really sad. What the heck? But at least we've got a new hat. Let's check it out. Look at that. That is a fashionable hat right there. I think I'm going to change it back to Mono's paper bag though for the playthrough, but we will check out each hat as we unlock it. All right, let's continue forward. Oh, I think I can hear the hunter. Yeah, I can see him as well. He's prowling the woodland. He's like, I haven't forgotten about you kids. I know you're out here somewhere. We've got to drop down carefully, six. <laughs> Oh, God. He knows. He knows, guys. Okay. Go, go, go. I'm going to hide behind this TV set. Okay, that was close. I thought he'd actually got us then. Go, 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 six. Ah, she caught us. Okay, quick. No time to waste. Oh, my God. This is so intense. Come on, six. We gotta go. Quick. Ah. It's like an Uncharted game or something. Ooh. Oh, man. We've slapped, landed on all the slime and the dead bodies and stuff that have kind of congealed. That's so gross. Look at all the muck on us, man. That's so horrible. And that really looks putrid, doesn't it? That is some putrid slime right there. All right, Six, take my hand, if you will. I don't think she wants to. We can actually duck under the slime if we need to by pressing the left trigger, as you'll see there. It's a bit disgusting, but, you know, needs must, I guess. I'm gonna see if we can maybe, like, duck under this part here. Yeah, look at that, and then we can actually sneak directly under the pier. Okay. We need to keep a low profile here, guys. I hate the way he wheezes and rasps as well. You know, like, what's gone on with his vocal cords there? He's like... <gasps> oh, actually, no... I'm going to duck underneath, guys. Duck down. There we go. I almost drowned Mono there by accident. I think he was going like... Ooh. It's okay. He's just got a mouth full of sludge and guts. Right, now we need to climb out. Little heart in the tree there. I actually made a theory a while ago about why I think there are hearts all over the place in the hunter's area. I don't know if it's going to be proven right or not. Oh my god. Okay. Let's move with the log. Let's move with the log. He knows we're here, guys. Because trees don't just fall down by themselves. Ooh. I think he just caught a glimpse of Mono then. Quick, quick, quick. He didn't hear those birds, luckily. Oh man, this is intense. This is like a proper 
Little Nightmares goes Metal Gear Solid <laughs> with the sneaking. How are we going to get past these crows, though? That's the problem. Can we sneak really slowly past them? In fact, six, take my hand. I'm not leaving you behind. Oh, run. To the next one, to the next one. Quick. Go, 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 go. Okay, and now into the house. Come on, six. Together, we're comrades. There you go. Look, she's tr her trust is built up now. Oh, she locked it. Okay, good. Okay, over here, there's a shotgun. There's a shotgun. There's a shotgun. Ooh, we're going to grab the shotgun together. No way. This is so awesome. Blow his head off. Quick. Nice. Oh my god, you can hear the sound. It's so cool, guys. It's like ringing in our ears. Because they're so small, they just fired a massive ass shotgun next to their ears. That's so brilliant. I'm guessing that hunter is dead now. Like, I don't know if we can see. I think he's probably dead. He just got a shotgun to the chest. So, good work, team Mono and Six. That was pretty awesome. Oh, I can't believe how cool that was. They both, like, grabbed the gun together. That was so awesome. We've got a doorway here in, like, a massive lake. So it looks like we're going to ride the doorway across the lake. I'm absolutely loving this game so far, guys. This is so good. It's so, like, cinematic. Six looks very, sort of, troubled by something. Hope this door floats. <laughs> I hope it doesn't just suddenly start sinking. It's very poignant this moment. We're just floating through the mist quietly. I love the little like, animations. Like, look at how Mono's just like playing in the water a little bit there. Can I do anything to Six? Oh, look, there's a bottle over there as well. Probably got a message in it. And probably not a happy one, judging by the world we're in. Some floating television sets. That music is sounding really ominous. It looks like there's like a boy over there in the background. This is really eerie, guys. This is like super creepy. I hope there's no sharks in this water because I dread to think what a little nightmare shark would look like. Approaching the city, the pale city. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. Guys, this game is so, like, high production, like, and so filmic. Like, look how epic that is, that city just emerging from the mist. Wait, what? It just literally curved. It literally just curved. I guess it's being, like, distorted by the signal tower, isn't it? Like, and warps. But I didn't realise it would be like warping in real time like that. This is already like just so incredible, guys. I'm so excited for this game. We've only experienced what I imagine is like the first chapter. Here we go, we're arriving on the shore, and now our real adventure begins, of course, as we head on into this city. You're gonna take my hand six. I want to build up that trust, you know, between our two little companions. Look, there's another sort of glitch child here. It's like an echo of a child that died to the broadcast, perhaps. Let's go and grab that. There we go. So we're going to head on inside. I think I'm going to do a slightly longer episode for episode one, guys. So we'll go inside here. 
and see where the story takes us next. So that's chapter one done now. That's foraged, it's called. And look, we've got a TV with what appears to be the suit of the thin man inside it. That's what it looks like to me, at least. Let's hope that he doesn't, like, materialize or something and, you know, just try and attack us suddenly. That's really, really unsettling. Here we go. We're on the city streets inside the Pale City now. Take my hand, Six. She doesn't always want to take my hand, and I don't know why. Follow me into the old... This looks like a, what, a coffee shop or something, maybe? Look at all the clothes, though, guys. Like, there's loads of people's clothes all over the place. But no people. That's really weird. And look up there. It looks like we've got what appears to be the picture of a teacher. And another really weird-looking character, which I don't think I'm familiar with. There's probably lots of secrets here that I'm missing as well. When you have, whenever you see a closed door in a little Nightmares game, it's a good idea to try and push on it, because sometimes they hide stuff behind them, is what I've found. So if we close this... Can we see anything behind the door? There's a little picture there, but I didn't get a good look at it. Let's head on through here. Okay. It's kind of spooky. Lots of TVs. Can we stand on this one? Yeah, we can stand on this. It looks like this TV can be moved. But how? We're going to need a boost up there. Come on, Six. Give us a hand. Thanks very much. You're very kind. Now you wait there and I'll try and find a way for us to get through. Okay, we can move that TV by grabbing that noose, I imagine. It looks like a pulley system. Oh, she's calling to us. Oh, we can push it. Here we go. Kick that TV off. Hopefully this does something useful. Wow, okay. It did indeed. <laughs> it, gave, it gave us a, quite the um, quite the elevation there. And now, yeah, look, if we push this TV off, Six is standing on that TV, it'll spring her up here. Six, get ready, hold on tight. This is going to make your stomach probably uh, jump out your body a little bit. Whoa! Fun, right? Good times. <laughs> Good times were had by all. We're creating our very own theme park. Not very safe. It wouldn't pass health and safety, but it's fun. Somehow, I feel like I'm not going to make this jump, but Six thinks I will, so let's go, guys. Ooh, we did! Well, to be fair, Mono can jump extremely far. Like, I doubt a real human being could jump that far. Um, what's this way? Ooh, there's another glitch. I wonder if we get something for, like, collecting all these all these glitches up. If there's some kind of reward after we complete the game. Or if it's just for, like, a Steam achievement. Right, I'm not going to hold you sit your hand on here, Six, because I'll probably fall off and die, and you'll die too then. So... I trust that you can make your own way. There you go. She's a dab hand. She's had a whole adventure at the mall. Oh my god, that is creepy. That guy's like hung himself. And it looks like his spirit has like left his body. And his... In fact, his body has left his clothes. And I can hear somebody like... Can you hear that guy's like a rasping sound? What is that? Let's make our way through this doorway. Oh. doesn't feel too safe. Let's make our way over to the TV. 
because we're evaporating by the look of it. Come on, Mono. Use your powers. Nice. What are we going to do? Are we going to warp inside? Use L to tune the transmission. Oh, that's so cool. We're going to break through to like the other dimension. We're actually controlling it. Look, we're warping. If you guys look into the TV before I do it again, we're warping that corridor and turning it. Look, with the thumbstick. And like trying to dial into the frequency. Oh, I think what we're trying to do, guys, is, is straighten out. Yeah, look. And now we're inside. We're trying to straighten out that corridor so it's like a straight line. And this is the corridor from the start of the game. And we're like heading towards that door. So what's going to be on the other side of the door? I love how many mysteries there are in this game already. Oh, it looks like we're not going to reach it, though. It's kicking us out. Okay. It didn't let us reach the door. So we're none the wiser. Well, that's very spooky. And I think, guys, with that mystery still hanging in the balance, and that cool moment now over, this is where I'm going to end it for episode one of Little Nightmares 2. I think we're into chapter two at the moment. I'm not sure how many chapters this game has. I imagine five or six like the original game. But either way, we will be diving into chapter two in part two of this playthrough, which will be coming later today. So stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed part one. So far, Little Nightmares 2 has been everything I'd hoped for and more. This game is incredible. And, um, you know, I would urge you to support it if you uh, also are thinking of getting it yourself. It's really, really fun. And as you can see, really impressive. With that said, guys, thank you for watching my early access playthrough of Little Nightmares 2. I'll be back with more later today. If you did enjoy it, please support by leaving a comment down below, hitting that like button, and of course, subscribing to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.